guys, it's me again, Brandy. In my previous video, I said that I was going to show you guys how to get rid of the reds in newborn skin. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Plus, I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of jaundice, which is yellowing in the skin. And of course, this isn't only applied to newborns. It could be, you know, an adult, a child, anyone who has redness or yellowing in their skin. Just wanted to make that clear. Okie dokie. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make an adjustment layer and go to selective color. And I'm going to go to my reds first. So for the cyan, I'm going to go to about negative four. My magenta, I'm going to go to negative, darn it, negative 24. For the blacks, I'm going to go to negative I keep doing that negative 42 and that's great and now I'm gonna go to my magentas and I'm gonna go to the magenta right here I'm gonna pull it all the way down and for my blacks I'm gonna go up to 70 now I want you guys to remember that your settings aren't gonna be exactly the same as mine um, but when it comes to reddening in the skin, of course, it's the reds that are bothersome. So you're going to start in your reds tab and, uh, you know, just, just mess around and keep going until it looks, you know, about normal-ish. <laughs> okay, so I already have my layer mask right here. So I'm going to click control I to invert it. And now I'm going to select B on my keyboard and it was already selected and my opacity is at 100 and I have a soft brush so I'm gonna go on and zoom in and start here on his eye so I'm gonna paint over his eye and as you can see it's already looking amazing <laughs> to fix the yellowing of his skin so I'm gonna click my background layer and do the same thing Let's get the selective colorings tab up and I'm gonna go to my yellows and I'm gonna take my yellows back a tad I'm gonna try negative 20 And I'm gonna play with the blacks, see what that does. Invert that layer. And select my brush tool, a white soft brush. And I'm gonna take my opacity up to 100%. And here I go. slight difference and I usually exaggerate the effect when I'm doing tutorials but I didn't do that in this case so I hope you guys can see the slight difference there so that's about it all you have to do is flatten your image and I'm gonna show you guys a before and after snapshot so this is before after. and you know what I think I'm going to erase the effect from his ear a little bit because it looks like more of a matte effect so I'm going to go back okay, that looks much much better to me and I'm going to add some contrast 
rest so he doesn't look so washed out. About four is good. Let's try a little bit more. Nah. Just do five. It's a little in between. Okay. I'm gonna take a snapshot and let's look at the before. After. Before. After. To me personally, it looks so much better than what it did before. So if you guys have, you know, a technique that you already use for these problems, please, please share down below in the comment section. And um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see my future videos, please be sure to subscribe. I really, really do appreciate when I get subscribers. So yeah, um, I hope this, this helped you guys and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.